What's up chatters, welcome back to Ben Hamma Fan Chat, I hope you're all well and my name is Emil and in this video we'll be reviewing a lot of stuff. Said Mahma's play rating, what Owen Hargreaves has to say about Said Mahma, he actually spoke on BT Sports, a lovely comment about Ben Hamma and what David Moyes has to say about the match and maybe he'll talk about Said Mahma but this is a, that was an interview and I'll show that in today's video hopefully so stay tuned till the end to hear what David Moyes has to say and the nice comments that have been put out for player rating especially all of that is in today's video so stay tuned till the end what you can be reviewing now is if you clicked that subscribe button so you do not miss another video because my videos here are full of Ben Rahma we just love Ben Rahma in this household um seriously Ben Rahma is king for us he is a very good footballer and We'll be hearing a lot of proof right now on, on papers right here. All right, anyway, so starting off with the player rating, 8.5. Eight and a half, basically, um, that states. I think that's a very fair rating. Um, it shows, basically, uh, if a player's been rated 8.5, that shows a lot of effort that has been put in the match. Um, a lot of shot attempts, a lot of, you know, silky dribbling. Just basically effort is what the main thing that I believe um, is means for, for eight and a half out of ten um i'm very happy it's a it's a fair rating it's not underrated and you can never overrate side ben rahma do you know why because he always plays at his peak yes ben rahma he's just one of those players that he's just so talented that he always just plays at his peak the skills the dribblings the goals with his first U europa league goal just Wow, he played really well last last night. I'm really happy with Saeed Ben Um He's just a really good footballer. He's just, just a really good, strong attacking midfielder. Wow, I I just don't know what to say. It, it always leaves me speechless when I talk about Ben Rahma. It always leaves me speechless because there are so many good things to say about Ben Rahma that you just don't know where to start. I don't know if it's only me who's going through this. Or if you or if you sometimes go through this as well, leave your leave your comments down in the comment section below. Also message me on my Instagram if you want to. Or my Facebook, uh, which is my Instagram which is at Benhamfan Chat, or my Facebook which is uh Benhamfan Chat. Leave your messages down there if you want to and follow me on my both social medias. Anyway, so continuing on, this is what Owen Hargreaves had to say about Said Rahma. He said this on BT Sport. Ben Rahma, I think, is a fabulous player. Technically, he is so gifted. I agree a lot with Owen with what he had to say there. Uh, it's true. Ben Rahma, he does have a lot of skill. And if a player has a lot of skill and often shows it on the pitch every time he plays, then that means he's kind of talented. That he He's kind of gifted. It's basically, football is for Ben Rahma. Football is for Ben Rahma. Um, yet again... Go check the skill shows. The skill shows, so many skill shows, man. There's like 14 in the, in the list when you search that up on YouTube. It's many skill shows, and that just goes to show how much skill and how much talent Said Ben has. He has a lot of um, he has he has a lot of uh, capabilities, a lot of skills, and he's just a really good attacking midfielder. Said Ben is one of the world one best his world class basically um i agree with what owen hargreaves has to say here do you agree with what owen hargreaves has to say here i want to see your opinion in the comments anyways um so another another uh an another opinion about ben Ahmad. left wing side ben Ahmad, 8.5 out of 10 he's a constant threat down the left flank ben Ahmad kept pushing on and finally managed to kill the game off in injury time and just to about deserves the man of a match award yes he does deserve the man of a match award yet again i just agree with what they have to say for the same reasons i'll be stuck here 100 years explaining the same things for how many good comments there are about sides ben Ahmad. so i think we should just move on to the interview right now because i'm going to get myself into a trap and you guys will be here for hours so anyways let's go so now we'll just re be reviewing what david moyes has to say about the match if he mentions Saeed ben Hama, just going to review it and then have my opinions after yeah and what were your thoughts on that one uh okay okay please we won uh probably didn't play as well as I'd like but uh, no, we took a little bit of risk we, we made a few changes so we knew this was a possibility but uh, we're in a lot of competitions and we have to try and make it work for the whole squad Well let's talk about that goal was that just a picture perfect goal in terms of the way the ball bounced around and then ended up with Antonio into Declan back of the net? Yeah 
well, we we could have done it a lot more. I've got to say, and I would have liked to have done it a lot more. But no, it was a really good goal, and I'm pleased for Declan because it's something which he's adding to his game now, driving in the box and scoring more goals. He's capable of it. So uh, no, really good goal. What was your view of the Vienna penalty? Uh, well, my first thought, I didn't have a very good view from it from here at the side. So the minute he gave it, I thought, well, you you know, you normally it must have been a penalty. And I was disappointed when I first thought Ben had dangled his leg and given the referee an opportunity to maybe give a decision. But uh, when I get called over to look at this uh, this monitor myself, you know, you know, he doesn't touch him at all by all accounts. So and the bit I saw, he didn't look as if he touched him. So thankfully it wasn't given. Positive use of VAR tonight. Look, what's the plan now going forwards with this? Because you've got uh, six points at the minute. Are you going to go as strong as you can against Genk at home here in a few weeks? And then that sort of takes the pressure off? I couldn't give you that answer at the moment, but I want to I want to try and be in Europe after Christmas time. So that means, you know, certainly you know, finishing one or two at least. So we want to we want to win the group if we can, but we certainly want to qualify. So we're not gonna we're not gonna let up. We're enjoying it. We're only we worked hard to get here. So we're not gonna let it go easy. But uh, but I've also got to manage you know, Premier League games and cup games as well. Well, yeah, I think we worked it out. I think you've got, on come Sunday, come the weekend, you'll have played seven games in 22 days, three competitions across sort of five cities, which yeah. is a relentless schedule. But are you proud of how your players have handled that? Yeah, this season? and I'm really looking forward to it because I think, we're, I think we're capable of handling it. And I think the squad we've got has got a good chance. They're all playing well. You saw tonight, a lot of them played well. The boys at the back done a really good job when required. So, um, you know, it'll be tough, but I'm hopeful that we can we can manage it. Okay, he didn't really say anything about Ben Ahma in that in that interview, nor did the comment, nor did the the questioner ask anything about Ben Ahma. Um, I was I was expecting at least something for Ben Ahma. You know, at least how did Ben Ahma do, or what do you think of the goal at the last minute? But no, I didn't see, I didn't hear anything about um, Ben Ahma. Okay, fine, uh, but I'm just confused because Ben Ahmad, it's a shocker that he scored at the last minute. Um, and to not hear anything from Ben Ahmad kind of shocks me. Um, but we did talk about Declan Rice, obviously, and that first half goal. Um, assist by Mikel Antonio and then that brilliant tap in by Declan Rice. Absolutely brilliant from Declan Rice. Um, I was expecting them, you know, to talk about Ben Ahmad at least because, like, after Declan Rice, I was waiting. But... I guess my expectations didn't didn't come. I guess, um, but it's okay. Um, they did talk about the game in general as well, apart from Declan Rice's goal. They talked about the game in general, how they played, how rapid Vienna were dominating in the first half, kind of. Um, just really happy with 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 that. Just still still wondering to myself why they didn't talk about Ben Ahmad, um and that last minute goal <laughs> sneaker. I don't know what what you'd call it. Um, and yeah, so I guess that wraps up our video today, chatters. Maybe I'll make another video later tonight. I don't know. Um, maybe like a preview for West Ham versus Brentford. But yes, talking about that again, touching upon that, we are going to the match West Ham versus Brentford. Hopefully, I get to interview some people so you can make a fun video. I know you guys really enjoyed it last time. Maybe get some away fans as well. Don't know, but this will wrap up today's video. Uh, chatters. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on the post notifications, press all so you're always updated for brilliant videos that are on this channel. Come on, subscribe right now. One. Okay, no, no, no. Just do it if you want to. Okay. Like the video for Ben Rahma and if you do agree and if you just enjoyed it really, that's what likes are for. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Just stay chatting and bye-bye.